What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I am doing my fall fashion trends. I asked you guys if you guys wanted this video and you guys definitely told me in the comments that you wanted it. You wanted me to go over all the fall fashion trends for this year, if I like them, if they're wearable, how to style them, etc. In this video, I'm just gonna kind of talk through them, but if you guys end up wanting like my version of styling them, I would love to do that as a second video, but I feel like it would just be too long if I was doing both. So let me know if you guys want that video in the comments box down below and let's get right on into it. All right, you guys, I have 11 different trends. I tried to keep it to 10, but I just couldn't, so I had to do 11. And the first one we're gonna talk about, I absolutely love, and it is monochrome looks. So outfits that are all in the same color, tone, and family all together. No other colors, you're just wearing one color. So I just made a little collage here of all of these monochrome outfits. I love that they're all different colors. We have that black, we have a lot of beige and camel, and then we even have that beautiful pistachio color that has been really, really trendy this fall and winter season. I honestly haven't really been into the pistachio color until I saw the picture of this girl with that beautiful skirt and then the pistachio colored purse, sweater. That really sold the trend on me and I feel like now I'm going to try to recreate that look whenever I'm at the thrift store. I'm going to try to find the color of pistachio just to make something similar because I do really think that it's beautiful. I feel like whenever you put a bunch of the same color tones together you look very polished and sophisticated. Even if you're just doing it with athleisure you can be very like comfortable but when you put all the same colors together it just makes everything come together and it looks like you tried a lot more than you necessarily did. I feel like Kim Kardashian and does this quite a lot with athleisure and several other celebrities, but I think it just looks beautiful. Also, I noticed when putting these collages together that a lot of the different trends are kind of like transferring onto each other. So you'll see a lot of cross-reference of the trends in each other's collages. Let me know if you guys ever have done this or if you guys plan on doing this in the future. Like I said, personally, I love the trend. Number two is long coats, so like trench coats and long, long sweaters. I absolutely love this trend this season. I personally don't have any trench coats in my closet, but it's definitely something I have been looking for when shopping and at the thrift store. I think it's just a very beautiful, kind of like classy, classic look. This has been popular for years past and probably will be for years future, but I just love the way that people style these long trench coats and long, long sweaters. You guys saw in my recent Thread Up Fall Trends video but I ended up getting several of these. So I got a really long drapey black jacket. I got a buffalo check. Thank you guys for telling me what that um, name of that plaid was. A buffalo check long jacket. And I also got a very thick chunky cardigan that's very long. Like I said, I think it's very beautiful and it draws your eyes down the leg instead of cutting you off really short. So it makes you look really tall and slender. I noticed that in most of the outfits when they are styled, they are definitely like that camel beige kind of like light brown color. That color is probably going to be the most popular and easy to find while thrifting or just shopping online in general. But I also really love the other colored coats that were in this category, like that dark slate gray. It would be beautiful if it was in like a blush pink or even like an olive green. I think all of those like really beautiful muted fall colors would be beautiful in a long sweater or trench coat. Let me know if you guys own one of these jackets down below or if you end up trying to find one. It's such a sophisticated look too, you know? All right, number three, you guys couldn't have missed this season and it is all of the animal prints. Animal print is something that I feel like always comes around every few years, but this year it seems like it is really, really big. When shopping, I've noticed that every single store and brand that I've seen has animal print all over the place. It is hard to miss this season. And I actually really liked this trend. I feel like you can make it look very sophisticated. You can make it look tacky if you don't style it right, but I feel like if you do a good job styling it, you can make it look very beautiful and polished. And I've been loving the way that it's been styled lately on Instagram, online, in people, on stores. It's beautiful. It seems like most of the time the animal print has really heavily been in dresses as well as skirts. And it hasn't only been cheetah print, it's been a lot of tiger print, zebra print. I've even seen a lot of cow print, which hasn't been around in a long time. Cheetah's the classic, but this year it seems like it's any prints or put all the prints together. I absolutely love this. 
When I saw that girl in that slender dress in the middle that's like drinking her Starbucks, I almost bought that dress just because it is so beautiful. I absolutely love that style. And then those two girls right in the center, oh my gosh, their style is so cool. They totally remind me of like New York, Brooklyn, kind of style and I don't know who those two girls are but their style is on point. This is beautiful. Number four is leather and it seems like there was a lot of leather on the runway this year. It's really coming back. Everyone has a good black leather jacket but this year it's more than just that. It's also leather pants and leather skirts. Even check out this girl right here in the black leather trench coat. So it's mixing the long trench coat trend in with the leather trend and I'm absolutely loving it. It's also really beautiful when it's coming not only in black but white, red, all different colors of leather. So leather is going to be really really big this fall and I'm guessing into the winter season. And if you don't want to do regular leather you can always do faux leather. I have a pair of faux leather leggings that I absolutely love. Really classes up an outfit with a cute band tee and I really like it. Number five is something that seems like it's a little bit more new and it is puff sleeves. You started seeing it this spring and summer and now I feel like it's continuing on into the fall and winter. The puff sleeves trend is really cute. It just almost looks like a little bit of like a peasant top with a bunch of little buttons, cute rouging at the like chest area. And it just really makes you look very girly and flirty. This may not be everyone's style, but I definitely think it's very cute and feminine looking. I really like a really beautiful feminine blouse. I love that it has a different prints like the cheetah and mixing the animal prints in with the puff sleeves and also that beautiful satin material on that girl in the left hand corner. I love this trend. It's super cute, very girly and feminine. Number six is power suiting, and I absolutely love a good blazer or a good trouser. Power suiting is all about taking your business wear and making it a little bit more casual, a little bit more urban, and just like streetwear. I love the juxtaposition between the very like businesswoman, girl power, mixing it in with being a little bit more comfortable wearing sneakers. I really like this and I feel like it just makes you look very expensive and nice while also being casual. A lot of the trousers that I own are so comfortable I'd rather wear over denim. And also blazers are just so great to throw over different chunky sweaters. I recommend not only looking in the women's section for blazers but also the men's section. The girl on the very, very left in this collage, she has like a men's really baggy blazer. That's what I'm looking for next. I love the way she styled it. I have several women's ones that are more fitted, but I want one that I can put over a really chunky, thick sweater and just look a little bit baggy. She's rocking that men's blazer to a T and I absolutely love this. Number seven is dark florals. So for a long time, all of the light florals are very springy and summery, but this year we're doing all the dark florals. So anything that has like a deeper background and also just like those darker colors, all of the orange, rusts, browns, deep reds, navy blues, all of those beautiful colors put together makes it much more wintry. So if you guys love that like girly light trend in the springtime, that's a way to transfer it over to the colder weather and just like the deeper colors that we like to wear in fall and winter. It seems like most of the prints of the dark florals are definitely in dresses and skirts. I don't see it as much in jackets or pants. You can find it. Um, but it does really seem like it's much more in like a skirt, midi or maxi skirt or a dress, which I really, really like and I think is appropriate. Let me know if you guys have a dark floral piece. I recently got one from Zara that I absolutely love, but it is a bit shorter. So as soon as it gets cold, I'll have to pair it with a pair of stockings and boots. All right, you guys, number eight is plaid, houndstooth, and buffalo check. This is one that I feel like comes back every single fall and winter. It's such a classic. It never goes out of style. But something that I like about that is that you can rewear these pieces year and year again, and you know that it won't go away. I feel like I've noticed so much plaid while out shopping, and I've really been getting into it this year. In years past, I didn't have that much plaid, maybe a few flannels, and that's it. But this year, I've been really feeling all of the houndstooth, plaid, buffalo check, all of those like winter patterns. You can definitely easily integrate this with blazers, like I said, mixing the power suiting along with the plaid. You can also very easily find it in a pair of trousers and pants. I love how the girl on the left paired it with a pair of very bright yellow uh, sunglasses and a yellow purse. I feel like this is a trend that you can go from all the way from looking very polished and business-like, professional and classy, all the way to very, very casual and comfy. 
Number nine is corduroy. I really started seeing a lot more corduroy last fall and winter and I was a little bit slow to get on the train but eventually I bought a few pieces and now I'm totally into it. I really like corduroy but it's something that kind of goes in and out. I love how all of the corduroy is in a lot of these like fall colors so very rust oranges, um, beiges, deep yellow mustards, pinks. It incorporates a ton of those fall colors and just gives your outfit a little bit of texture so I personally really really love corduroy and I've been noticing a lot more of that really thick chunky corduroy which I think is really fun. I feel like it's very easy to find the smaller corduroy but when it's that really thick chunky corduroy it reminds me of a vintage style kind of like being revamped and so I am really into this style. I think it's really really cute and I actually thrifted a very interesting piece of corduroy recently that I can't wait to show you guys. It's just like a standout kind of trend. All right, you guys, and on to two different accessories. Number 10 is chunky shoes. You guys have definitely seen the chunky shoes out and about. They are not ending for fall. A ton of girls are rocking those really big white chunky sneakers. I personally feel so funny wearing those, but I think it's really, really cute when other people do style them and wear them and rock them. And then chunkiness is also being incorporated into all of the boots. You guys know that Doc Martens have been in for quite a while now. They are so cute and I love that trend. I feel like it's really cute to pair with a more girly piece, the Doc Martens with a chunkier shoe that looks a little bit more masculine. It seems like the big chunky heel or a lot of rubber on the bottom of a platform is definitely in and I'm loving it. I personally love a chunky shoe. I'm not so much of a stiletto girl. So I really like this trend. I feel like it's easier to walk in and just looks a lot cuter. So chunky heels, chunky boots, chunky sandals, platform espadrilles. I'm all about the chunky shoe except for the dad sneaker, but you know what? It's still cute on other people. <laughs> If you guys got to the end, I love you guys so much. Thank you for listening to me ramble on. This last one is small vintage purses. It seems like those mini bags have been in for quite a little while now, and I absolutely love the way that they look. I have thrifted so many small little vintage mini purses, and I think that they're so cute. Personally, I don't find them very practical because I'm the kind of girl that wants to bring my whole life with me in my purse, and so when big purses are more in style, I find it more convenient so I can lug around all my junk with me, but I do really like the way that small purses are styled. Honestly, a lot of times I feel like I'm just going to use the bag for a photo or just to put my phone and wallet in if I'm not doing something that I absolutely need everything. So if you're the kind of girl that can just only take one or two little things, this style is definitely for you. It's also something that you can thrift very affordably and there's so many cute bags at the thrift store that are so affordable. I literally have a huge basket full of recent mini vintage purses that I have found and they're all under like 10 bucks. So, so yeah, you guys, that is it for this 2019 fall trends. Let me know some of your favorite fall trends. Let me know if you've bought any standout pieces lately. And also if you guys would like me to show you all of these different trends styled, I think I have something from every single category. So let me know if you guys want that. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.